We want the children to hear that at the Fountain of Hope, there is a place called Lubuto that is there just for them. Whether or not they can read or speak English, let them come and find for themselves what we have to offer. It is a refuge from life on the streets, a place where they can just be children and where books will allow them to dream and envision a better future. My name is Kasela Chombu, yeah, and we are, we are making a play of Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, how he fought for freedom without ever using a gun, but with the words of love, peace, and togetherness. Yeah. And I'm playing the role of Martin. I can see that kids are really enjoying doing it. It's their first time. To, to, to perform and uh, even some of them they were saying this shouldn't be the end if we just uh, perform it and then it ends there we want to continue with some other books the words of martin luther king are absolutely universal and particularly well suited for the children that we're serving in zambia that what he says to inspire people what he said throughout the civil rights movement to inspire and empower people here are exactly what our children need to hear in Zambia to help lift them out of their circumstances too. The main thing that I learned is um, we have to have that courage um, in anything that we do. Let's say, I'll give an example of us who are here. Um, I can say you're yeah, an orphan, you don't have so much to take you to school. Uh, don't uh, bring yourself low by because I've got no sponsor, uh, I'll never be to school, I'll never be a lawyer. No, 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 no. You, you have to have that courage in your life, no matter what. To do something, you know, like Lubuto Library, to do something for, for young people, to do something for a, a person's mind is very important and there's nothing that is too small. Another program is the Motivational Mentoring Program. This program has just been phenomenally popular. It's one that is based on, on stories, uh, talking about perseverance and courage or developing sort of a, a moral sense or a sense of identity and, and a sense of hope and a sense of a way forward in life. This kind of uh, the training or this kind of teaching, first of all, in this part of the world is, is, is new. And I now, Martin Luther King was also fighting for, for the rights of the black people in the USA. The things that he stood for, uh, we even come to help Barack Obama to become president. We are really happy of what the Ruto Libraries is doing. And also for the girls, they are able to talk about their future. The boys want to be the, the Obamas of Zambia. The demand is so high. Now the challenge we are facing is transport is not enough. These children, they don't even want to live with that place. And the setup itself, I really like that where they just sit as if we are at home. I even remember the olden days when we used to sit around fire, then your grandfather or grandmother is there telling you stories. The, the richer the programs are in a center like this, the more benefits they can see and more opportunities they can explore. So. In my life, I never thought I could, I could act, or I could even stand in front of people and sing or do something like that. But 
he gave me the power to do it. He said, you can do it. You're the only one who can do it. Whenever I'm, I'm, I'm racing with them, they also give me morale, you know, to say, okay, I'm gonna do it with them. The way I act and I have the confidence that I, when I grow up, I can be an actor. I like acting because I learn more. Yeah, I learn more through acting. Martin, he was a great man. Yeah, he brought peace in America and he, he made people in America to be together, blacks and whites to be together.